Welcome back, RPS scholars. I'm so glad you came back to visit me. Today is day five, and we'll be working with word reference resources. Today is our very last day. And again, we'll be focusing on the thesaurus. Please remember that you do need to have paper and pencil to complete today's activities. I will now share with you my screen. The ICANN statement is, I can use the thesaurus to expand my vocabulary while reading. You can use a thesaurus to find synonyms and antonyms for particular words. Words that don't have synonyms are not included in a thesaurus. A thesaurus lists words in alphabetical order. Each entry gives the part of speech, definition, and synonyms of the word. Antonyms are listed at the end of the entry. Here we have the word foreign. It is a multiple meaning word because you see the number one and two. It has two different definitions, two, def two different meanings, but both meanings are adjectives. In the first definition, it says of or from another country. Here we have a sample sentence to help us get a clearer meaning of the word. We enjoy food from foreign countries. Then we have the synonyms distant and far away. They mean the same as foreign. There are also antonyms listed. These are the words that mean the opposite of foreign. So the opposite of foreign is native and local. Let's look at definition number two, involving other countries. And there's our sample sentence to give us a better meaning. Foreign policy changes over time. The synonyms for this particular meaning are overseas and offshore. And the antonyms, the word that mean the opposite of foreign in this case, are local and domestic. Let's look at the word prompt. Prompt is a multiple meaning word. It has two definitions with two meanings. And they are both used as verbs, but again, they have two different meanings. All right, let's look at definition number one. Again, a verb to remind. And there's our sample sentence to give us a clearer understanding of the word and its usage. Mom prompts me to be nice. And the synonyms, words that mean the same as prompt, are remind, hint, and suggest. Let's look at definition number two. To call someone to do something. The alarm prompted me to get up. Synonyms for the word prompt, as it's used in definition two, are cause, inspire, and motivate. Antonyms for this word prompt, words that mean the opposite, are caution and discharge. I'm sorry, discourage. Let's look at our sample sentences over here because we're now we're going to do some more practicing. We want to read these sentences. And then we're going to use the thesaurus to help us answer the questions about these underlined words. Okay, the first sentence says, learning a foreign language is a challenge, but it is also an adventure. And then the second sentence says, many factors prompt people to learn another language, including curiosity. Let's look at number one. Which words are synonyms for the word foreign as it is used above? Okay, let's look at the word foreign. Which one of these definitions is the best one <clears throat> as it is used in the sentence above, learning a foreign language. That is correct. Definition number one, that is the best one, of or from another country.
Let's look at number two. Which words are antonyms for the word foreign as it is used above? We want the antonyms. And the antonyms would be native and local. They are the opposite of foreign. Very nice. Let's look at number three. Which words are synonyms for the word prompt as it is used above? And that sentence again says many factors prompt people to learn another language, including curiosity. Which words are synonyms for the word prompt as it is used above? And you are correct. It would be definition number two, to call someone to do something. That's being prompted, very nice. And last but not least, let's look at number four. Which words are antonyms for the word prompt as used above? Remember, we're still using that same sentence. Many factors prompt people to learn another language, including curiosity. We're looking for the antonyms, words that mean the opposite. All right, you've got it. Caution and discourage. Very nice, boys and girls. Very nice. This concludes our lesson for the week. It has been a very rewarding experience for me. Please make sure you take care of yourselves. But before you leave, I want you to continue to practice. Here are four questions that you can work on to continue to improve your skills. The answers will be available to your family and they can check them once you've completed these assignments. Please make sure that you are safe healthy and well. Please know that we are thinking of you and we want the best for you and we can't wait for you all to return. Please take care of yourselves and be safe. Thank you for joining me this week.